Namaste and a very, very good evening to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Vithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to calculate age of an employee given his date of birth. We will be using a very simple DAX expression in Power BI to calculate each and every employee's age given his date of birth. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to extract a employee's age given his date of birth, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let me begin by introducing the data set to you. As you can see here, this data set is called as employee data set. There are two columns. The first is employee name. And the second is what is called as date of birth. If you look at the first employee, her name is Irene Maddox. Her date of birth is 2nd March 1952. Similarly, if you look at the fourth employee, Mark Packer, his date of birth is 2nd February 1949. Then, when you look at Anthony Witt, his date of birth is 8-7-1963. We know each and every employee's date of birth. Question is, using his or her date of birth, can we find out age in Power BI? How many such employees do we have? When I look at the last row, you can see here, it says 98. So roughly in this data set, we have 96 employees with their date of birth. We would like to extract each and every employee's age. How do we do this? To do this, let me now proceed to show you the interface of Power BI. This is the interface of Power BI. I've already loaded the spreadsheet into Power BI. On the right side, you have three interesting options, namely filters, visualization, and the fields section. Let me go on to expand the fields section. You can see here, the table name is displayed as employee data. This is the table name which we will be working on. Let me go on to expand this particular table, employee data. The first variable here is birth date, and the second variable here is employee name. You already have seen the data for these two variables. To write the DAX expression, which will pull out the age for each and every employee, what I'll do is, to the left-hand side, you have a button which is called as the report view. The second button below report view is what is called as the data button. Let me click on this particular button. What this does is, it takes me to a new view and the name of this view is called as the data view. You can see the two variables, employee name and birth date. These are the two variables which we were working on in Excel. The format of the date is also being displayed. That is 14th March 2001. This is just an example. This is called as the long format. I will choose the long format itself. However, in case you want to change this, you can click on the drop down menu and choose the short date or any other format which you think is relevant for your application. Now, how do I write the DAX expression? To write your DAX expression, you can see there is an icon which is called as new column. When I hover the mouse on top of new column, Power BI says write a DAX expression that creates a new column in the selected table and calculates values for each row. Let me click on this particular button, the new column. You can see here a new column. This is an empty column which is created in the data view. I'll give it a more meaningful name here. Let me call this as age. So I'm going to create age here. How do we create age? There is a very useful but very simple function 
which is called as date diff function. I can go on to type this particular function, date diff. You can choose date diff. The moment I choose date diff, you can see Power BI helps me with the input parameters. There are three input parameters. The first is date one. The second parameter is date two. Date one is the starting date. Date two is the end date. Finally, when you take the difference between date one and date two, the answer or the value can be expressed as an interval. So there are three parameters, date one, date two, and interval. You can read, there's a short description for this particular function. It says, date diff returns the number of units between the input two dates. So it's pretty clear here. Let me specify the variable name here. Employee data, this is the name of the table. The second item from the top is employee data with birth date. You can use the dot date property here. You can see here, this would be the table name. And after bracket, the birth date is the variable name. And we're using dot date. Let me go on to put a comma. There's a catch here. What Power BI does is, Power BI is expecting me to specify the second date. But unfortunately, there is only one date variable, namely birth date. Where is the second date variable? To specify the second date variable, I'm going to use a function which is called as 2D. Let me go on to choose this particular function, the 2D function. What this does is, it pulls out the system date from your laptop, date and time setting. The existing value for today's date is used as date two. So what Power BI does is it's going to compute the difference between today's date and the employee's date of birth. Once it takes the difference, it will get a value. Power BI is not able to understand should it express the difference as a day, as an hour, or a minute. You have a list of options here. I will choose the last item, namely year. Age is expressed in terms of years, and therefore, I will choose the third parameter as year. You can see here, the first parameter is a start date. In our case, it is the birth date. The second parameter is today's date. And the third parameter is the difference between these two date parameters, which will be expressed as year. Once you have specified this particular function, you can go on to execute this particular command. Power BI has computed the third variable, namely age. Here you can see it says 71 which means that the first employee, Irene, her age is 71 years. Similarly, for the second employee, her age is 81 years, and the third employee's age is 57 years. So this is how simple Power BI makes it to compute age. You need to use the date diff function and specify three parameters, the employee's date of birth. Secondly, you can specify the system date, and thirdly, you can specify year. Now, one question is, what is the guarantee that this calculation is correct? To verify whether this calculation of age is correct or not, let me go to Google. But before that, let me keep in mind the birth date of one person, namely Irene. Look at her birth date. It is 2nd March 1952. I repeat, 2nd March 1952. As you can see here, I'm currently on I'm currently on Google. Here I can type age calculator and hit enter. When I type age calculator in Google, 
the very first link that I get is calculator.net. Let me click on this particular option. You can see here, this is the website for calculator.net. Here we have an example, date of birth and age at date of birth. Age, my, my apologies, first one is date of birth. Second one is age as of, this would be the second date value. Date of birth, if you look at Irene's date of birth, it is 2nd March. So I can specify March here. The day is 2 and the date of birth, the birth year rather, would be 1952, which I can type here. It is 1952. If you look at today's date, when the video is made, it is 4th February 2000. 23. 2nd March 1952 is Irene's date of birth and we have today's date which is 4th February 2023. You can go on to click on this particular green colored button which says calculate. The moment I say calculate, we can see here Irene's age is calculated as 70 years, 11 months, 2 days. 70 years, 11 months, 2 days. When I look at Power BI, you can see Power BI is displaying the number as 71, which means it has rounded it off. So Irene's age is 71 years. So this is how simple Power BI makes to calculate age. Just in case you want to calculate, you want to verify who is the oldest employee and who is the youngest employee. How do you do that? You can click on the drop down menu here. Right at the top, you have two options. First is sort ascending, and the second is sort descending. Let me click on the second option, namely sort descending. The moment I click on sort descending, you can see here each and every employee is sorted based on his age. The oldest employee is a person called as Mark. His age is 94 years. The second oldest employee is Carol. Her age is 93 years. The third oldest employee is Sachin. His age is 92 years. So these three people have the oldest age. They are in their 90s. Now, just out of curiosity, if you want to see the youngest employee, again, you can go on to click on the drop down menu and you can choose sort ascending. When you choose sort ascending, you can see here the age is sorted based on ascending order. The youngest employee is Michael Kennedy. His age is 52 years. The second youngest employee is Barry. His age is 53 years. And then we have Caroline Jumper, whose age is 54 years. So this is how date diff can be used. In this particular example, we have calculated age of an employee. Now the date diff function can be used for a wide variety of purposes, not just in the calculation of somebody's age, in case you want to find out the duration between order date and shipment date. Let us say the order is placed on Monday and the shipment day is Friday. You want to find out the duration. In this case, if you just take the duration, that would give you the turnaround time. Similarly, in case you have your own personal details or your kid's date of birth or your anniversary, your family or your friend's date of birth, family member's date of birth or your friend's date of birth. In each of these cases, you can use their date of birth to evaluate the age. There are many business applications as well for the date diff function. The first is, if you want to find out how old is the purchase order and invoice, you can use this particular function. Secondly, you might want to find out how long the project has been going on for. 
Here again, the date diff function is very useful. Thirdly, you may want to find out how many weeks the project has been going on for. Again, the date diff function is very, very handy in each of these cases. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we've seen how to use the date diff function, which is an example of a DAX expression in Power BI to compute each and every employee's age. I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.